Hey, welcome back to Legacy Studio. My name is Tim Lee. Whether you find us on the Out West Art Show and Sale Facebook page or on my YouTube channel, Legacy uh, Art Studio, thank you so much for coming by. If you enjoy this interview, make sure you share it out. We're getting a lot of people here to the show at the Heritage Inn, uh, and we want to keep that coming. Absolutely. It's been a busy day for you, Ron. How are you doing, it my has. friend? Oh, we're doing fine. You know, and there's a lot to be said for adrenaline. Yes. Uh, it gets um, you through the day, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it, it does. And it actually uh, it, it really does eliminate some of the sore feet and sore yes. knees and all that from yesterday's uh, setup. So, yeah. Yeah, it's been great. And we've had really got really decent traffic today, too. Yeah. So. Well, it is, a, it is a harrowing challenge to, and I've been using this term and I kind of like it, to make a brick and mortar store in a single day. Well, it is, and, and there's some of us that are a little longer in the tooth than others, and uh, you know we we try and help other artists yes. uh, either in setup or organization, uh, and the show has done a spectacular job of providing volunteers, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, that really eliminates a lot of the stress that some artists feel when they they drive into say a new show, yes, and they have no concept. Yes, uh, of, they might have read most of the information that's sent out, but. Then they finally get to that point where it says volunteers will be available, and what a relief! Yes. And and I had them too, and yeah. and uh, this year, and um, like I said, I've I've done this, so this is my I think this is my 30th year, and it's still a little bit of angst, a little bit of anxiety, and you show up and yep. you wonder if there's going to be volunteers. And the next thing you know, you've got four people hauling things into your room, and helping you set up and. Plug in your lights and, yeah. and uh, unpack your artwork. Um, I had a I had a wonderful young couple that came in, and uh, they wanted to know everything. Mm -hmm. And so I went from my little bit of anxiety and all of a sudden to becoming a teacher of sorts. But isn't that great? Uh, and that's just great. But yes, yes. had never never seen a show like this. They were as excited to unpack the artwork as I was to get it home. Aww. And it was just the coolest thing to see. So we're thankful for the volunteers mm -hmm. all the, and uh, the show sponsors uh, that helped put this family back together. Let's make this quite clear, folks. Uh, there are so many people that make this show possible. And Ron Ukrainitz is one of the folks on the board. Um, I, I was. You were. Uh, yeah, I, I uh, founded the nonprofit, uh -huh. and uh, they put me in as the chairman of the board. Yeah. Uh, thankfully, with term limits. And, uh, <laughs> so you could run when you needed to. <laughs> yeah, so I, I could run when I needed to, and um, it's really it's wonderful to see that the foundation that we laid mm -hmm. has such a solid footing. And, How long uh, ago was this foundation that you laid? Oh, gosh. Because um, you're mentioning 30 years that you've been here. Yeah, and I'm trying to I'm trying to count back. I think it's um, nine years, wow. I believe. And I served uh, on the board for four, and then they, they kept me around for a couple months afterwards um, so they could either critique or yell at me or uh, do something. But at any rate, we got a lot of questions answered. And, and you're trying to run, and they got you by the collar, you know, for a little while extra. Well, you know? a little bit, but... Um, <laughs> And then uh, the, the Young Masters program, of course, yes. uh, which is the major reason uh, that we are allowed to be a nonprofit. Yes. Uh, I actually, um, it, it has a bit of a history to it. Uh, initially, it was called the um, Kid Russell program. And it, they asked me to come in and take charge of that in 2008. Uh -huh. And uh, so I went in and I, I worked in 2008 and 2009. Uh, instructing kids when the museum decided that they no longer wanted to do the program not because they didn't like the program right. it was because staffing it and manning it yes. was left to yes. uh, me and one other person and um, so I went to the museum and I, I said well how about um, if, if you give up that program and I make a similar program based on what we've learned, and then we'll call it the Young Masters. And uh, the director at the time, Darrell Beecham, said, that's a wonderful idea. We'll support you as much as we can, mm -hmm. um, but we'd like you to do that. And so we started the Young Masters program, and uh, the next year, 2010, um, I invited uh, Donna and Mimi Grant. Mm -hmm. uh, they they were 
unbelievable in their support and their encouragement. And so the, between my wife and I, Echo and I, and uh, Donna and Mimi, uh, we started to build this program. Mm -hmm. Incredible. And, uh, and uh, so they're the reason. You, in order to be a nonprofit, you have to give something away. Of more course, or less. of course. And uh, we started off giving uh, cash awards. We made school supplies available through grant application to different schools uh, if they were running short on a budget. We weren't taking over the budget. We were supplementing, and uh, and that grew into um, a, a sponsorship program. Yeah. And uh, from Costco, we got a very generous grant from uh, uh, Tim, or uh, uh, excuse me, from uh, uh, Phil Carell, Chris, mm -hmm. um, and uh, Phil's wife, who were also founders of the Out West, and a very generous grant, and we were allowed to all of a sudden be able to offer scholarship, college scholarships, and uh, that's huge. That's huge. Especially in these days. Yes. And, uh, um, and we have other programs that, that we offer encouragement through awards and ribbons and cash, and we teamed up with, uh, uh, at that time, Embark Credit Union, mm -hmm. uh, which was initially teachers, then Embark, and now Horizon, Horizon, and they've carried that tradition. Really excellent. Yeah, and Wonderful. so we'll be giving out we'll be giving out ribbons and cash awards and scholarships this coming Saturday. That's incredible. Have you seen any of the folks from your Young Masters come here and be in one of these booths? It's funny you should ask because um, I still have contact with our first two uh, scholarship recipients. And one of them is an art teacher down in California. Oh, wow. And uh, the other one is an art teacher, and I don't remember the exact uh, state, but is at uh, college level art oh, my word. Uh, instructor, master's, and working on a Ph.D. now. So wow. um, both young girls are native Montanans, um, still get Christmas cards. Oh. Um, it's just, it's wonderful. You changed their and, life. And you assisted in making the we, program that changed their life. Well... We look at it that way, but we look at it as, as also providing a necessary step for the next generation. Yes. Uh, because they, they did have the benefit of uh, taking classes from yes. some of the uh, masters that are in this show. Yes. And this show is full of master artists. <laughs> so. Um, and it's such a beautiful show, Ron. It really is. It is. Thank you. Tell, tell, me about the, tell me a little bit more about its history. Let's go back 30 years. What, were, what did you see oh. 30 years ago in this, in this space? Um, it, it, was, uh, it was the place to be, the first major art auction in the United States. Mm. And that's what it was 30 years ago. And um, <coughs> I had done another show for 10 years before that, mm -hmm. and an opening happened here. And it was initially I got into a room, exhibit room. It was my dream to come here. And I got, uh, somebody took a sabbatical, and they were leaving their room open for one year, and they called me, uh, at that time the director uh, let me know that there was one room available, might only be for a year. And uh, I, I jumped, and I said, absolutely, and uh, I've never looked back. Oh, I was just so lucky, thankfully, and un unfortunately, but yet thankfully, uh, the gallery that had my room decided not to do the show anymore, mm -hmm. and uh, so I got to keep that room for a number of years. And That's wonderful. 20, 25 years, I think, my word. was in that room. So, What an incredible gift that it's given to Great Falls. Yeah, it has. And I remember I did a study, um, and it was... It was for a grant. I was applying for a grant from uh, Great Falls Development Authority, mm -hmm. and they offer grants to different entities through right. the year. And so I went out and I, I, I was asking for a minimal amount. I think it was twenty five hundred dollars to supplement our advertising. Right. And we had a pretty big budget, and um, so I went out and I, uh, I went to hotels and I talked to hotel managers and I said, "Can you give me the percentage of occupancy?" And I checked all the major hotels in town. Mm -hmm. And can you give me a number for percentage of capacity during the third week in March every year? Right. And I had numbers. The Heritage Inn, of course, was at 97%. I remember mm -hmm. that number. Um, they were 97% occupancy. And, and they ranged, um, as I recall, I think the low was 67. Mm -hmm. and, and, and then there were 30 points difference to the Heritage Inn. 
which was at 97, and everybody else fell in the upper 70s, uh, low 80s. That economic impact exactly, right there exactly. is, a, is a real selling feature when you go in. Our restaurants, our uh, hotels. I didn't even check the restaurants mm -hmm. because I just needed to know how many people were yeah. here. And uh, someone uh, uh, subsequent to that, the next year, uh, we had another volunteer that went around. We're asking for another grant. Um, someone went around and asked different restaurants and the top restaurant restaurants that we knew of and went around and this was all independent this is yeah. all volunteer and we went yeah. and did that uh, we we're uh, checking with the russell museum all the time to see uh, if they had any suggestions mm -hmm. and um, so we we really wanted to know for ourselves to know how to approach uh, a grant application mm -hmm. and, and uh, the numbers blew me away i mean it just it is the biggest thing i mean it, i don't know the population of Great Falls probably increased by a sixth or maybe a fifth mm -hmm. during that week. That, that's pretty amazing. For that's amazing. It. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah. And it is doing something that this world desperately needs right now. Yeah. It's removing us from the stupid culture that's out there. You know, um, it is. We've gone through, you know, every show has bumps in the road. Of course. And there's been a few bumps in the road. Everyone got but, slapped by COVID, and that's the yeah, most, and, more and recent bump. We were shut down uh, yeah. w at the last minute, actually, by COVID. So we missed a year here. Um, we do another show, uh, my wife and I, and that show, we were shut down one year, mm -hmm. and we didn't go the next because they had a big outbreak. Uh, so those bumps in the road, it, it takes a lot of courage to stick with it yes. and then go beyond that yes and think about you know where where do you want to take this do you want to take another chance do you want to just bail out mm -hmm. and not see your friends and clients yeah. ever again and it's so easy to bail it well it is that's the easy way out yes the hard part is coming in setting up and putting a smile on your face and being honest and genuine yeah. and when you do that it's infectious. Yes. And you've noticed it. I know you've noticed it walking around these halls because everybody is smiling. Yes. The families are back together now. Yes. Uh, there was a nasty divorce, so to speak. Yes. The families are back together. Everybody is positive. Yeah. The energy is infectious. Yeah. Um, I need to give some credit where credit is due. Absolutely. Chip oh, is Chip. a mastermind. Oh, Chip is wonderful. He is, I mean... He gave me a phone call the other day and asked if I would come here and bring this here. Right. And I, I first off, yes, of course, I would be overjoyed to. Yeah. But on top of that, you got him bringing everyone together uh, right. yesterday yeah. and, and the cheers. Yeah. That man has no chip on his shoulder. No. But that man leads with an iron fist oh, in absolutely. a very positive way. Yeah. And we we stopped by and, and chatted with Chip when we're down uh, in his direction, down Hamilton, stopped at his studio, mm -hmm. and there has never been a time where there wasn't a positive outcome or mm -hmm. uh, a, a positive direction. Yes. Um, there, there never has been, and that's so refreshing. Yeah. Uh, you push everything aside, and you have one goal in mind, yes. and that is to put on the absolutely the best show and exhibit that you're capable of. Yes. And uh, and he's done a masterful job. And I he's mean, fought tooth and nail for it, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he has. Absolutely. He's the right man for the right job at the right time, the right place. Yes, he was. Yeah, and absolutely. is. And, and, he, yeah. and he came into this in the middle, so that he was taking oh, he did. quite a chore. Yeah, he did. Quite a chore. Uh, the, the good news is, is that um, Chip and I have visited on many occasions, yes. and he was an integral part of the background. Yes. Um, there were about there's about five artists, uh, six artists that I can think of that were advisors, so to speak. Right. We'd bounce ideas off of, and pretty soon those ideas became more powerful than mm -hmm. what we had envisioned in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And so now we've now we've got Chip, and we've got you know uh, Mimi, we've got Cliff, mm -hmm. we've got Jerry Painter on the board, we've got uh, uh, Barbara Byrne on the board, who was a force in herself yep. as a bookkeeper and, um, and treasurer and you know, but with Chip leading the way, um, this is the best way to start the reunion. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, I agree. Thank you for sharing some of your history with us.
Oh, you're welcome. Honestly, Ron, it's my goal to sit you down and talk about your artwork well, and want to get people in your booth. And here we are <laughs> discussing, but, but, but thank you because oh, you're welcome. the history of this place is so important. It is. Yeah. It's the reason why people have decided to stay in art. Yeah. It's the reason why you've decided to stay for 30 years. Yeah. It's changing lives. It's making a difference. So the history is important. I think the, one of the most rewarding things is when a person comes into my exhibit room with a child oh. uh, mm -hmm. or a high school student. Yeah. And those are the, that's the future. And so if yeah. you can take an extra five minutes or ten minutes to encourage them in some way, their yes. education or giving them a small sketch uh, or something, those things tend to lead to the future. Exactly. It doesn't take much, and it doesn't take any more than five minutes. Going back to Chip, proving your point, Chip's been doing something for a lot of the young people or a lot of the people around. Right. Right? Yep. So he, he pulls me in the, uh, last night, and he goes, have I given you a token yet? Yeah. <laughs> and I said, no, because I, was, I, was, I wasn't very aware of the tokens. Right. But I spoke, I'm like, of course I want a token or whatever. And he's like, well, reach in here, grab one, find one you want. And I said, would you do me a favor, sir? It means so much more to me if you reach in and you find one for me. So I have a token. I carried it with me from last night to today. It says, aspire to inspire on the back. And he says, that is my favorite quote. I want you to have that. And I'm like, that kind of stuff is kind of meaningful to me. I'll keep oh, that close. It's, it's a little bit deeper than yeah. just a saying on a pewter coin. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. This is the kind of stuff that changes the future of young people. Because p these kids are going through the weirdest time. Yes, they are. And if we can give them people like yourself and like Chip... And every single one of the artists in this place. Yeah. <sighs> that's pretty powerful. That's super powerful. And you don't know how much power or how powerful it is. Yeah. You may not know it that day or that minute. Um, you might not know it that week. Yeah. But somewhere down the road, somebody's going to look at that token and say, "Damn, that was a good show." Yeah. Yeah. And that's and that's one of the things why I love that we're documenting it like this. Yeah. I love that. I love that. Because there's something wonderful that people will come back to. Yes, absolutely. Uh, that's the, and, and so what we're creating here, not only through the art, but through the conversations, the friendships, right. it's incredible. And there's some, there's some people, we have people that come back year to year. I may not see them until next year. Yes. And the conversation picks up right where we exactly left off. Exactly where it lifts off. Yeah. I agree. And, that, and that, is, that is so meaningful. I agree. That means that yeah. both parties paid attention. Yes. You know? Yes. We just didn't write them off as somebody kicking through the door to right. grab a piece of candy and say hi. You know? Right. Uh, the, the conversation actually did mean something. And that's yeah. meaningful for everyone involved. Yeah. Absolutely. I and, agree. And it's, and it's the next step. Now, thank you for your investment in this place and in the, in the young folks. I'm, My pleasure. And, and your artwork is incredible. Uh, and, and like you said, I've talked with you last year. Yeah. And once again, the conversation just kicks right oh, back Oh, it off. just kicks right back in. And it's, it's yeah. delightful because we're, we're quiet. We tuck ourselves away. We do our art. Yeah. And we... Fr he lives in town. <laughs> this ticks me off. He lives in town. I, I should go see this guy. I should hang out. I should be inspired to, you know... And, and, and then... Life takes over, yeah. And here we are again, but nothing has changed. No. And it's no. incredible. No. It's incredible. Well, here's the deal. Um, we're going to pick up the conversation, but it won't be a year. Okay. Deal. 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 Okay, that's the deal. It'll be eleven and months, but yeah, deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I will be more than happy to pick up that conversation with you anytime. Okay. With any brush or pencil, it doesn't matter when or where. I'd be yeah, in. We'll, we'll just go down to the springs and. Yeah. Paint geese. That sounds like a lovely idea. And, sir, what is what is the number of your booth? Uh, I'm in room 146. And, of course, um, I don't have to tell you how good an artist he is. He is incredible. And you see his heart here, and I know that seeing someone's heart sells their work. I'm not going to try to sell you his work and, and discuss all the things that I discuss with everybody else on what paints you use and on brushes you use. And just go and look at his stuff. You're going to walk away with a painting. You're going to walk away with a heartbeat, and you will come back. 
and it's meaningful, and that's important. And not only that, his wife is in the booth directly next right. to him. Her name is Echo. Everyone thinks she, she's his daughter because she's gorgeous, and she has to put up with him. <laughs> that's so, true. Yeah. <laughs> so please go and support the people who, who continue this amazing history that is in growth. Yeah. And, and you are blessing a great fall, sir. Well, thank You're you You're blessing so much. this show. Thank you. And thank you for sharing the history. It's my pleasure. Talk about selfless when you take the time to try and talk about him and his art and he goes and talks history. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, so. we'll, talk, we'll talk art on another time. I think it's a lovely idea. Yeah. Hey, folks, right. you know where to go. Get on there. Out West Art Show and Sale. We have so much coming up. Tomorrow is the 15th. We're here to the 16th. If you're not able to make it here, what is your website? Uh, mine is simple, ronyukranitz.com. Mm -hmm. Just like the Ukraine mm -hmm. with a TZ on the end. Perfect. Go and see it, but more importantly, get your butt here and see it for yourself. All right. We got more coming your way here in just a little while. Tons of interviews still coming on the, uh, you, uh, on the Facebook. And if you see it on my YouTube, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. We'll see you next time. <laughs>